Splash, thanks for um, giving us an interview and Splash comments. Perhaps um, at the first, um, let's say two other examples about yourself because I don't know how, um, how many German fans know about you. So my real name is Sasha Vakizic and I draw comics under the pseudonym of Alexander Zorba. Uh, I've been uh, uh, drawing comics for some years now. I started uh, to publish uh, in early 90s. Uh, first, it uh, was an American publisher. Then my comics were published in several European countries, France, Italy, uh, Spain, and elsewhere. I understand that your comics aren't published in Germany yet. Uh, have you ever talked to German publishers? Or? Actually, uh, uh, I, I have one book published uh, 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 but uh, uh, this, uh, this publisher had uh, problems so it had to stop the publishing. Uh, I also publish uh, 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 some small magazines. Uh, magazines. Uh, nice. So in, in Germany, comics are mostly seen as kids stuff and uh, big emails and such. You do uh, many grown-up things, many serious things. Yes, well, it's not just in Germany, I think it's uh, universal that we still think about comics. Most of the people still think about comics as something uh, which is made for the kids. But uh, uh, I think the past couple of decades, there, was a, uh, there is a growing of the uh, interest for the, uh, these uh, uh, classical comics to speak about the uh, real things, the real problems of the time, and all these things that uh, would uh, be of interest for the grown up people. So it is uh, not anymore just a kid's stuff. And uh, I think it's something that is a uh, struggle which is going to last. It's, uh, people are always uh, uh, fighting against these prejudices, which is uh, kind of a natural thing because comics, when they started, they, they were uh, mostly meant for the children. So it's uh, kind of a natural thing that uh, there is still uh, this belief that they, they are meant for children. Mm -hmm. So early on in uh, the Western uh, country, I uh, don't have too good an image because of, of the war and uh, those things. Do you think that your cooperations with Mexico and Italy and the global crowd that actually can um, give Serbia a better image and show people how to use Serbia as well? Yeah, I believe so. I mean, you know, for me, I, I always believe that that's the people and not the government which matter. So, uh, I think if people have a chance to speak with somebody who has somebody from the street, it's different. It's always different. So, the, the, basically, the basic premise of my uh, comments is that uh, it's made by somebody who is coming from the street, who is a, a normal person. I'm not, uh, I'm not a general or a politician or anything. So uh, I guess that if, if you really want to know about some, uh, some, some place or some people, it's, to speak to somebody, it's, it's universal. So what I offer to my work is like a vision of this crisis from the point of some small, small man. There were um, comments about um, the wars in, in Balkan by um, American authors and the authors who weren't but they are there. Do, do you think um, if you weren't there, you can actually show something impressive and, and real, or can you only do it if you happen to be there? Yeah, well, I am. I, I would not. Uh, I would not uh, like to. Uh, I would not like to say that uh, my approach is the only right. So I think even if you are. Uh, coming from some kind of far away, and if you go there, if you look at what's happening, you can get a conclusion about uh, what, is, uh, what is going on. But I believe that it's always important to hear it from somebody from the first hand, somebody who is a part of it, somebody who experienced it from his direct experience. So not from somebody who just saw it on the TV. Yeah, exactly. I don't say, I never said that uh, 
what I described, it's the only truth of the Bible. I, I, I try to be very personal. I try to express my vision of, of, of these things. It does not uh, mean necessarily that I'm right. Everybody else, uh, especially if it's such a big topic, I think uh, we will maybe spend our entire lifetimes thinking about what happened and why it happened. So it's not a light topic, it's something that takes a lot of time, a lot of energy just to think about it. And we try to uh, explore it in a form of And certainly you work with Royal Crown, you work with Chris Ware, who are big names in the comic scene. Are you uh, well, in some way, probably, yes. I don't think about it, but uh, I should mention just one thing which happened uh, a couple of weeks ago. I came to the forum uh, with my friends at uh, the exhibition in Paris. And uh, at, at, at the airport, there was a custom office, a serving custom office. <laughs> and when I, he asked me, what's that? And I opened uh, the, the big uh, um, box with my drawings, and he, I was really astonished that he recognized, oh, it's Zogar, he recognized it by style, you know, which, which is uh, something, I guess. <laughs> and then uh, another interesting thing happened in Italy, uh, it's a country where uh, probably most of my stuff, along with US, was published. And uh, I was going out of the world airport and I gave the, my passport to the person who sat there and he opened up the passport and I said, Oh, you are famous in my country. And I, I, I was thinking that he mistaken me for someone. And I was just uh, trying to explain that he probably mistaken me. But uh, then I realized what he was speaking that he really knew my work. Another thing which is funny is that I I most of it by my pseudonym, which is Alexander Zola, and not by my real name, Sasha Rakizic, which was in the past. But uh, the articles that I uh, have wrote during the name of the same, uh, they were published in some of the daily papers uh, in Italy. So uh, it was the first officer who was uh, reading it uh, and he remembered my real name and my pseudonym. Which is uh, quite something, I guess. That makes sense. So, uh, you said that um, your drawings about bombings had been published in the US quite soon after. Did you get any, um, any feedback from, from, from the people? Because um, officially, um, two countries were at war and you were doing war for the Canada. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess that uh, I, I have received just a few hate letters by the people who, from the States, who read in, the, uh, in some American magazine. But I guess that we are living in different times. It's not anymore like in the past, but during the war time, there was a much huge hatred between, between the people, not just between the, the governments or the people who are fighting the enemies, but among the people. Now it's changed. But also it's because of the audience to whom I'm addressing them. They're like, I guess, they're more like open-minded people who, who, who were able to read and who, who can guess what is right and what is wrong. So mostly the, the, the response was very good by the American uh, readers. But I have, I, I think, the biggest number of fans is still in the US. They buy it very often now. Even during the bombing, they would uh, express uh, their uh, feeling that uh, it's the, in some way it was the, the war of the government, and not of the people. I think that would be the war of the So, I mean, it is a complex thing to, to talk about, and uh, especially for presenting the war of the government. But then it is a challenge. 
we should uh, speak and uh, we should speak to each other, we should, we should uh, express what we feel about it. Uh, and this is the way to uh, know ourselves better and to understand ourselves and maybe want to start with similar views in the future. So, uh, you are a Serbian artist, and do you think that there is something unique for Serbian comics? Or do you think of yourself more as a, as a comic artist and that's it? Okay, I, I, I mostly think about myself as, as an artist, because, especially because uh, uh, I, uh, I publish in so many different countries at the same time, and uh, I don't feel specifically connected to some scene. Uh, despite the fact that uh, um, I I am part of the Serbian scene, I live in that country. Even during the worst stage of the crisis, I, I was getting a lot of offers to move to the US or Germany or Italy or whatever. But I prefer to stay in my town and to witness uh, it all from the, from the ground level. <laughs> to try to speak also to the people locally. So I do a lot of different, uh, um, different actions with the local people. One of them is the, is the workshop that I did uh, uh, ever since the uh, late uh, 90s. It's called uh, The Kitchen. It is the uh, making of, of the cartoons which was happening right in the, in the kitchen in the flat where we were living. And uh, that's why it was called The Kitchen. It's because uh, we wanted to animate the local people to start to produce their own comics and to, to express themselves. So I guess that it's also important for the local scene that somebody is over there and uh, try to express uh, his ideas and uh, just to be there to uh, maybe also influence somebody else to start to as well. And there, there is a lot of uh, people who are doing their own stuff. I think uh, artistically it's not an uh, uninteresting country. It's, it's a country where there is a lot of uh, interesting things going on in different forms of, of art, and especially alternative, uh, independent art. It's very, it's very rich and uh, very underground, but at the same time, I'm speaking to quite a lot of people. So it's an interesting, uh, it's an interesting uh, place to go if you are searching for some fresh art. So one last question, what's uh, the next thing you are going to do? What's the next publication we are uh, going to look for? Okay. Uh, uh, the, the next publication is the Greek edition of Book My Comics. It's going to be the first uh, book uh, 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 comics translated in, in Greek language. I was present uh, at the other scene because uh, some of my comics were translated uh, uh, in the Greek uh, magazines and uh, also on the internet. But uh, this is going to be the first uh, uh, full-length book which is going to come out there. And I expect it to come out uh, within just a few days. Thank you. Thank you. So now I'll give you a video my card. So you can, um... Is it going to be online? It is going to be online. I can just, uh, I'm going to uh, you can just let me know when is it uh, posted. I think it's going to be posted, if not today, um, tomorrow or on, on, on the weekend. Is it going to stay there for some time? Um, yes, it's going to stay. Let's uh, splash page TV and I'll go to splash comics. Uh, you, you should look uh, up not uh, too late because it will uh, drop down because new things will be coming up. But for this month, it should, uh, you should have the Comic Fest Newton uh, area online. I'll put it on my website. <laughs> <laughs>